Hey guys, what's going on? Um, decided to go away with the uh, do away with the uh, little intro at this stage. Um, just getting too much of a pain in the bum to edit them and then resave a new video. So I've decided this is going to be so much easier. Um, this is just opening with me. Um, <laughs> that way I can just transfer the files from my video camera straight on the computer and straight onto upload. So there's not enough. I, I just it's struggling to find time to you know find time to edit and add, add in those little clips so yeah today I've got a whole video this is going to be sort of I, I re-record this is a re-recording I did try and upload a video late last week and for some reason it cut out halfway through um, so thanks to those who, who let me know um, that was that was very good I was able to delete it very quickly and uh, yeah here I'm going to re-record -re something and hopefully it comes out okay I've got no idea what happened I tried to go back and find find the original clip I apparently I deleted it um, but yeah some, something happened there and for some reason the video just stopped halfway through so we're going to do a little bit of an updated one I've got a few more things so this is going to be February March um, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough time in early April before I head off to America um, so I'll definitely be doing a sort of April, April, Mar March, April uh, haul video once I get back, and that'll be in early May. So I've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more. I can't remember what I, exactly I showed last time. Um, but yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff I wanted to share with you that I picked up in the last last couple of months. Got some Star Wars, got some non-Star Wars stuff, which is always cool. Um, yeah, let's let's begin. Um, I bought these off of someone on the Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's the Star Wars Trilogy VHS set from 1987. I believe it's 19 yeah 19 sorry 1988. So that's the year. Could have, no, could have been later than that. Yeah, I think it was 1988. Um, so the year after I was born. So oh, I haven't watched them yet, but they're in really nice condition. So we've got the original original VHS tapes. All I need now is a VCR, but they are increase, increasingly difficult to come across. Um, now I feel like they were just floating on an island somewhere. All the VCRs, when people decided they were dead, now everyone wants them again. Return of the Jedi, I'm gonna Luke with his blue lightsaber. That never happened. But yeah, I was really happy I got that for 20 bucks. Um, so I was super stoked with that. Uh, yeah, this girl was just, getting rid of some stuff she had in the cupboard and I offered her 20 bucks for it and she said yeah no worries um, <clears throat> non Star Wars pickups picked up Doc's Doctor Strange on Blu-ray uh, really enjoyed this I didn't actually this is the first Marvel Cinematic Universe movie I didn't get to go see at the cinemas um, not from not from not wanting to it just didn't get the time and yeah before I knew it it was out of the cinema so I decided to just hang out and wait to the Blu-ray and I got it pretty cheap so, um, yeah, I really, really liked it. I'm looking forward to seeing more Doctor Strange in future movies. So, that was cool. Definitely recommend that one if you're into the Marvel movies. Um, so, that's cool. Now, a lot of people have probably seen these. There's, you know, your local news agents. Um, do like a little subscription collection thing. Um, I've been doing the Star Wars Fact File now for a couple of years. That's nearly, nearly done. So... Oh, I'll be glad when I don't have to pay seven dollars a week anymore. But um, they've just started the helmets, and uh, for five dollars I decided to pick up the first one. But they go up to sort of sixteen, twenty dollars every other consecutive release. So I decided I'd just get Vader. That was five bucks. They come with a little like a fact file thing that you can put in a folder. But I decided to pick this one up, make it for a nice display piece, and I've got a little bit of a Vader tribute shelf, so. I thought that would fit in nicely. So that's that. Um, went to a store, chain of stores down here called Big W, um, the big major retailers, so like your Walmart or your Targets, um, whatever. Anyway, they're sort of, that's down here in Australia. Um, they had a bit of a sale off, off of uh, back to school stuff and there was just like uh, stuff from left over from Father's Day, I think, or whatever. Um, you know the cheap gifts but I uh, picked up a bunch of stuff it was really cheap a bunch of Star Wars stuff I've got a bunch of stubby holders um, I know you guys I know a lot of people around the world call them can coolers or you know whatever um, down here they're called stubby holders 
So you put your beer bottle or your beer can in it. But I've got a bunch of Rogue One ones. These were a dollar each. I got two of this one thinking thinking that was a different picture to that one. And it wasn't until I got home that I realized they were the same one. But that's okay. Got this one. Rogue One again. They're all Rogue One. Death Trooper. Awesome. And K2. So plenty of cold beers. That's that's cool. Uh, found another Hot Wheels car. Uh, I'm not pretty sure I haven't shared this one, but it's the Scarif Stormtrooper Squad Leader. It looks sick. Uh, yeah, the new new ones have been sort of a bit scarce. So when I see them, I grab them, even if they're a little bit pricey. But this one scanned up a lot cheaper than normal, so I was really happy with that. A um, couple of key rings. I got these for. You know, a dollar each or 50 cents or something. Rebel Alliance. And K2SO's head. Which is cool. Always like little cheap key rings. Uh, books. Got some books. Um, got Aftermath Empire's End. Oh, slowly getting through it. It's, it's good. I'm enjoying it. It's just finding the time to sort of jump into bed and have the energy still to read a chapter or two so I'm getting there very slowly um, time is just a, an absolute pain in the bum got this magazine now I believe this is a, this is a UK magazine basically just, it's a British magazine actually because it's got it in pounds £4.99 it's called Blocks um, I came across this a few months ago um, sort of just before Rogue One came out and there was a special on some sets that were out at the time and it had you know Star Wars on the cover so I've decided to keep an eye out for this magazine and they got a really good uh, sort of showcase of all the Rogue One Lego sets and this person who's customised the Lego AT-AT into the ATCT, and uh, on the back is this Lego version of the Rogue One cover which I was actually working on my own version before this came out I just got about halfway done um, I didn't get to complete all that sort of mini stuff down the bottom, but mine came out very similar. Um, I didn't get to use, I thought this person, whoever did this, I can't think of their name, had a great idea for the Saw Gerrera. Um, I, mine didn't look anywhere near that, near, as that, near that good, but I don't know, it was, I had a lot of fun putting that together on Photoshop, and uh, maybe one day I'll get around to finishing it and share that. So, um, yeah, it's a cool magazine. Definitely recommend checking that one out if you can find it. And I got the latest Star Wars Insider, which I pick up every time. They're a really nice piece in on uh, Carrie Fisher, who we're still missing very much, um, and I think we always will. But, uh, yeah, really nice. Really nice cover and really nice tribute in there. So definitely recommend that read. Um, now we've got some action figures. So I've got some non-Star Wars figures. Um, pick this one up. It's the Black Panther from Captain America Civil War. This one's been a tough one to find um, considering the wave wasn't even really released in, in stores down here. So very happy to find him. I found him in a Zing pop culture store. Um, and they, they were marked up to $48 and I got them to price match on Toys R Us Online. And I went back to another Zing store about a week and a half later and I was going to get the Bucky and Falcon but that particular store decided they didn't want a price match so I missed out and I'm not paying $48 um, for a figure. And I, re I, I want them but I'm not enough to pay $48 each. But yeah, really happy to get the Black Panther. It's a sick figure. Um, I don't really have a lot of Marvel Legends anymore but... Um, I do have the movie ones, so I'm, yeah, just keep my eye out for, for the movie ones. Um, DC, I've been, been a big fan of the, like Arrow and The Flash. Um, haven't got into Supergirl or Legends of Tomorrow yet, but I'd like to. But I picked up Zoom from Season 2 of The Flash. Uh, this dude, this character was awesome and he just looks really, really cool. So I had to pick this figure up. And uh, yeah, hoping Oz Comic Con's coming up in a couple of weeks. So I'm hoping to find 
uh, the Flash and Arrow 2 pack that came out recently for a good price. Um, a few stores have it here but it's a little bit more, more than what I'd like to pay for it so I'm going on the Sunday and usually Sunday afternoon they tend to just drop prices and let people make some offers so it's less stuff that I have to take back to the store. Um, so hopefully I can pick that up. And just yesterday I got this in the mail um, from a store called Culture Shock Collectibles. Um, they're based in Victoria, I think, Victoria. Anyway, it's Reverse Flash from predominantly season one of The Flash and a few appearances in season two. Um, this one's been a tough one to find too. You got a re-release and then he got a multiverse which is the Mattel line release. Um, so I definitely want to review, review these two figures from The Flash. Um, but yeah, this one's this one was tough to find and uh, yeah, Culture Shock Collectibles ended up having them online so I snatched him up and I'm glad I did. So he's a really good figure. He looks really cool. So I'm gonna do I'm definitely gonna do some different reviews and you know just mix it up a little bit every now and then. But you know, I haven't got long before I go, so it won't be till probably much till much before I go to April, I go to my America in April and then when I get back I'll have plenty of things to do. And then last but not least, just to round out the video, I finally got the Guardians of the Wheels, Chirrut and Bays. They came in last week from Big Bad Toy Store, pre-ordered them a while ago. These figures are great. Um, Bays, unfortunately, is a little back heavy. That <laughs> backpack is really heavy. I've got him blue tacked down and I've sort of got to have him standing against the, the side of the shelf to stop him from tipping back all the time. Um, but apart from that, these figures are these figures are awesome. I'm really a big fan of these two. Can't wait to review them either. Anyway, guys, that's it for my what did I call it? February, March, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, I've got some. I'll have I'll have a few videos up. Um, I want to do some more bits and pieces. Just a couple more bits and pieces before I go. But I'm going to upload both of these videos. If you if you saw my last one, you know this is the second one. I'm going to upload these tonight and uh, yeah, hopefully get some more recorded on the weekend. So until my next video guys, may the force be with you.